<laughs> we don't go long winded in this conversation. But this is just going to be a beautiful take and breakdown concerning the basis of how me and her perceive and um, view this movie. And mind you, both of us are um, highly invested in film. You know, I went to school for film. She went to school for acting. So a lot of our perceptions is going to be from very uh, a lot of cinematic film story plot perspectives and stuff like that. And just get into the basis of like character development and all other type of stuff. So enjoy yourself. Kick back. Relax. Um, the soundtrack. Let me just say the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack for Black Panther 1 was already great as it was. You know when they had you know Kendra Lamar doing his thing. But this 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 is just beautiful. This soundtrack is just like beautiful beyond measures i don't i can't really explain it but you know rihanna is just like a the icing on the cake the cherry on top but the soundtrack is just amazing it's beautiful one of my favorite soundtracks i just played in the be in the beginning um another soundtrack called sirens i'm gonna play that throughout this uh throughout this review or throughout this podcast episode it's beautiful Basically, the sirens is what you hear with the um, the Mayan people or the the water people, and basically that's how they were hypnotizing people into jumping into the water, all the other type of stuff. And just heads up, of course, you know since it's going to be a movie review, it's going to be spoilers. All right, it's going to be a lot of spoilers in this review. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it that I still have played back in my head uh, alright so the Black Panther Wakanda forever what are your ratings Cause I, I would give this a 10 out of 10 if I could I'll give it an 8 out of 10 ok, okay. Why, why would you give it an 8 out of 10 I'll be honest with you I really loved so much about it I loved um the, I love the story arc. Mm -hmm. um, I think shoot, Angela Bassett, Lupita, and Letitia Wright held that story down, baby. They did. Everybody's acting. Wow. Yes. Um, I will say, I will not lie to you. I really wish that the underwater people were also black. For me, it took away. It took away from the idea that, don't get me wrong, I understood, like, the ending message of, like, unity among minority people, da 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 like, I, I got, I had it, but I really wanted them to just make their own movie. Like, mm -hmm. I think, for me, I would have appreciated if the other tribe that had vibranium was still people, was still black people, um, just the one thing. Like, I, I would have wanted it to stay in the family, essentially. Um, even though different tribes. I think it would have been an interesting dialogue surrounding tribalism or something mm -hmm. of that sort. Um, but, you know, I thought um, I thought it was great. I thought the action scenes were done very well. Um, the CGI was popping. Uh, even the storylines of the different struggles that both groups had to go through mm -hmm. um, I love how really it just wasn't that much conversation A just the way that they dogged white people was, was good for me the way that it happened at the beginning when um, Angela's character you know found out that the French were actually in on her yes. she walked in and they walked in big pimping like yes. I it was it was very very gratifying but I will say that for me, what really knocked a lot of the, even though the, the, the thunder between the minorities was great and interesting, and it was that whole arc and how she saw it be a instead of in the ancestor way, I think it, I thought it was a lot of like, hey, a lot of juicy stuff there. Mm -hmm. I just really wish it would have stayed within the family, essentially. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. Great take, great take. Um... So I give it a ten out of ten because um, 
And like immediately, like as soon as I left the the movies, I was telling my friends, I was like, yeah, this is this is it. This is and and one thing about me, like one of the reasons why I love Star Wars so much is because the the soundtrack adds so much more to the cinema and the center the like black panther like kendall lamar he did his thing with with the whole the first black panther movie um and i love the soundtrack with the first black panther movie this second one hits completely different on a whole like if i may add spiritual level <laughs> with the soundtrack alone that gave it me that gave it automatic like five out of ten and the the sirens is beautiful um because when uh when they had the the water people attack the ship at first i thought it was gonna be black people i didn't know what to expect but like when i heard the sirens and i thought it was like mermaids like i thought we were gonna get some some type of backstory on this i i kind of expected what they were going to be since me seeing the trailer i knew who we were up against so but i didn't know i didn't know what we were dealing with um i knew it wasn't the wakandans but anywho um so soundtrack was great everything in terms of cinematography was amazing um like just the way that they filmed certain stuff I thought everything was off the chain with the way that they they shot certain things and uh, of course the CGI was off the chain as well I don't know how they certain stuff they just got away with that was just amazing um one of the special aspects of the film Miss Williams and and just how much of a, a genius that she is concerning uh like just building stuff i don't know i want them to uh i don't know if she has gotten enough character credibility for her own movie um but maybe like a little show um on disney i would like to see that i think that would be something good for for kids to look at um she had her own little like show on Disney Plus and stuff like that. So that would be cute. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere between like six to eight episodes at least, something like that. I think it would be great. Yeah. Like some college life. It'll remind me of like a not 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 like that's or Raven, more like a I don't know. Somewhere around there. Like um give like some true Jackson vibes or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could see that. Um I guess she was supposed to be the woman uh iron man woman. Um I know they was talking about it, but I thought they was gonna make like a, a different or a separate movie. But I thought this was kinda interesting. Um they didn't they didn't mention Tony Starks at all concerning the makings of her like invention in terms of her her suit so um that's interesting so i don't know where they're going to go with that um but she is her inventions are great um something that she mentions being young gifted and black i said right on so i i had no issues with that one um there was a lot of realism in it um i didn't expect yeah. I didn't expect them to uh, go into Wakanda like that, the the water people, and I especially didn't expect um, for Angela Bassett character to be killed off. That was a surprise. That was a shocker. <laughs> I was like, oh, Brittany's not gonna like this one. <laughs> Yeah, when when Angela Bassett, like when she died, um, I love the realism that they that they contributed to the movie. Um, usually, like they'll try and save the day, or you know, I just didn't I didn't expect her to die, especially after you know having the whole ceremony for her brother and everything like that. You, she lost her brother, and then 
the year after that she lose her mother <coughs> so I think wow oh boy now my number one favorite scene in the movie I think you already know I don't know you don't know okay my favorite ultimate scene in the movie was when uh when Zuri she tried to uh remake the ancestral stuff for her to go back to the ancestral realm and get the power of the Black Panther. And when she went into the ancestral realm, she didn't see none of the ancestors. She didn't see her brother, her father. Oh, this girl saw mother killmonger. I said, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. I will literally go back and watch the movie all over again just to see that scene because that scene was just beautifully it was so short but it was so impactful because that that not only like that not only shifts the whole dynamic of the storyline but then that's how she becomes the black woman or, or the woman uh panther yeah, it was like really the choice is yours like yeah like <laughs> And it's like he didn't have no change of heart or nothing like that. Like the man was still the same. His his locks were longer. The man was was freshed out and all white on the throne still. Like the nigga still on the throne. And so he gave her the business stuff like that. Like she was over here being horrified. Like like no, I was supposed to see my brother. I was supposed to see my my father. And he over here like don't believe me because like you didn't believe in that anyway. And like. You the one that summoned me, if we're really being honest. He's like, no, I didn't summon you. I couldn't have summoned you. And so he was like, let's just be real right now. Like, do you really want them niggas on your side? Like, you know, he was talking about how his, her father killed his father. And then how T'Challa was too noble for his own good. And so he was like, like, who you really want? You, you really want to be like your brother? Or you want to handle some business? I said, hey, nigga, I'm trying to handle some of business. <laughs> and so when she woke up, she didn't take her father's suit. She didn't take T'Challa's suit. She took Killmonger's suit. And that was even more impactful because that showed that showed her motive for what she really wanted to do. Um, but 